happy Sunday evening. Um, it's been a beautiful weekend. It was really hot yesterday and it's a little cooler today. It's the best. Um, and I have something going on with some of my beans and I'm curious if anybody has ever seen this. So this is um, black beans that I save seed. This is my third year I've planted them. Um, planted some last year both purchase seed and save seed all did fine this is all save seeds this year so I have some bug damage that's not a big deal it, they're gonna you know, they're, they're, they're gonna grow past that um, but this is what I don't quite understand I have three beans that look like this there's one here and there's one here that it germinated and then just went completely yellow. So that's in one spot. Now I tuck beans in a lot of different places because I, well, it's kind of how, how I garden. Um, and then I have another one. in a separate part of the garden. There's just one. It almost looks like somebody came in my garden with weed killer and just like, you know, hit a few plants because they germinated and then they just turned yellow. I'm just curious if anybody out there has seen that. Um, I've got a video I'm working on. I don't know if I'll get it published before this, but just planting um, some peppers, transplanting some beans, just lots of different things. Um, but I'm out at the garden close to sunset and it's just so pretty. So I wanted to be out here for a few minutes. I figured I'd share some of the scenery because like I said, it just is so beautiful to be outside right now. Now, this year, our arugula, we didn't really get to enjoy much of it because it was so cool for so long that it just kind of sat and didn't do anything. And then we got really hot for like a week. We were in the 80s. And this is what happened. Arugula does not like heat. Um, but those are some beautiful flowers. The pollinators absolutely love them. So I'm just going to let those go for a while. Um, probably leave some to collect seed, pull the rest to feed the chickens, and we'll put something else there. So it will be just fine. And look at those. I don't know that the camera does it justice. I think they're so pretty, um, especially this time of day with the sun hitting it the way it does. Um, so our tomatoes have transplanted beautifully. They're coming along. We've got a lot of nice, we've got some nice new growth off of these plants from when I put them in. The tops of the plants are looking nice and dark green. Nice happy plants. So I think one of the next things is going to be a few more potatoes. Um, and then as soon as we've got a forecast that doesn't look like it's dipping into the 40s or at least staying in the high 40s. Get some sweet potatoes out. Um, I'll probably go inside and show you those and then sign off for the night and either do some editing or just chill out. Thanks for joining us. I, I just came out in our greenhouse. Um, right now, that's where I am uh, keeping the sweet potato slips. Um, that will be going out probably in a couple weeks. Um, it's getting pretty warm, so I might chance it a little bit, but typically in western Pennsylvania, sweet potatoes don't go out until um, June, until you're very, very sure you're going to be out of the 40s, low 40s in the evenings. Um, but I noticed something, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this. You see all these little knobbies here? Um, those are aphids. Oops, and the dogs are playing behind the stool. Um, so all along the stem, all those little white specks you see are aphids. Um, so I think I have a healthy garden. I've been working on a healthy garden for a lot of years. Oops. Um, and I think once I get them outside, some of the things that are just naturally there um, will take care of the aphids. Um, but 
in the meantime, before they're truly outside, I've got scotch tape. Um, so what I'm gonna do, actually, is I'm just going to just do a little wrap around my fingers. Dogs are ridiculous. Just a minute, sir. Okay. So scotch tape here. Vines are getting very, very, very long. Excuse my hand for a second while I adjust. Okay. And so then I'm just gonna do this. And we've got aphids there. Um, so I'll probably continue to check, make sure I check underneath the leaves. Um, so that's my aphid hunter of choice when we're inside, is just a little bit of scotch tape um, wrapped around my fingers. More to come later. So I asked my husband the other day, where am I going to put all the sweet potatoes? And he's like, yep, I was curious why you bought any. So I purchased these from the local farm and garden store. Um, there's probably at least a dozen in there. We've got all of these, which it's hard to tell when you start pulling these out, like how many plants, how many individual plants you're going to get. But we've got that one. We've got this one that are started in soil. We've got this one, which, you know, there's one, two, three, four. There's a, probably at least a dozen plants just coming off of this piece right here. We've got, you know, a decent amount coming off of there. We've got a few starting off here. We've got a few starting off of here. So, long story shorter short story long. We're going to have a lot of sweet, or, well, a lot of potential for sweet potatoes. We'll see how the year goes. Um, but these can't handle the cold, so they'll go out once we've got a good, good, at least 10 day forecast. And it looks like the German Shepherd has given absolutely all that she has to give to the weekend. It is exhausting being a five month old puppy in this household. And the German Shepherd, or no, the Border Collie mix, the buddy, does not feel the same way. <laughs> He's always ready for more. All right, thank you for joining us.